what you would guys would want to do for this is when we are evaluating a trigonometric function, when we, um, if something has the same initial and the terminal side, the cosine value of it is going to be equivalent. Okay. Um, so basically what I would do in this case is rather than evaluating for cosine of 2 pi over 3, I want to, they said evaluate using um, the reference angle. Because remember, guys, let's think about it this way. We know that we talked about the cosine. Um, we know that the, if you do the trigonometric functions for these angles, regardless of the quadrant, they're exactly the same. Do you guys remember talking about that with the reference angles? Do you remember they were exactly the same? Yes? So does anybody know what this, where this angle is? No, it's a huge angle, right? Could we find coterminal angles that would make this easier to graph? Yes. So let's find a coterminal angle. So what I would do is do 23 pi over 6. I said you could add and subtract 2 pi, right? Well, let's subtract 2 pi. 12 pi over 6. When I subtract 12 pi over 6, I get 11 pi over 6. Correct? Now, you might not know what that graph looks like, but the, what did the problem say? The problem said you can use reference angles, right? So we would need to do kind of determine, and I can see where this one's a little bit issue. We need to kind of determine, that's why I want to spend a little bit more time today. We need to determine what quadrant this is in. So we know that if this is an angle, we would know here is pi, and all the way around is 2 pi, right? Well, let's do that in this case. This would be 12 pi over 6, and this would be 6 pi over 6. Correct? So in reality, yes, Libby? I'm finding the coterminal angle. Remember when we did coterminal angles? You add or subtract 2 pi, or add and subtract 360. Because what I'm trying to say is, this angle, it doesn't matter if it looks like that or it looks like that. The angle is the same thing. This, I mean, the terminal and initial side are exactly the same. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm, instead of, see, this angle, 23 pi over 6, is a lot of rotations. We don't need these, all these rotations. So what I want to do is, by subtracting 12 pi over 6, I'm basically subtracting a whole rotation. And if you had to do it again, now I'm just dealing with the actual angle. I'm not dealing with all those extra rotations. It's equal to 2 pi, but you just made the denominator 6. Correct, because 2 pi is the same thing as 12 pi over 6. Would you agree with me? Mm -hmm. And the reason why I did that is because this angle was in denominator 6. OK? And you minus it if that one pi. Right, if, uh, yeah. If it was like a negative, then I would add 2 pi, right? So I get this. Do you guys can see which quadrant this is in? This would be in the third quadrant, right? How did I know that? Well, I know that halfway around is pi. Well, in terms of 6, that would be 6 pi over 6. So I need to get to 11. Well, all the way around is 12, right? So 11 would just be a little bit smaller than that. Does that make sense? All the way around is 12 pi. Well, we're at 11 pi. So we're just like, how short are we? 1 pi over 6, right? So remember, reference angles is right here. So the reference angle is what? Pi over 6, correct? So we could say theta prime is pi over 6. Well, what we told you guys is you can evaluate you can evaluate using your angle or using your reference angle. So rather than doing, you're just evaluating for this, right? OK. So rather than doing, so I'll do cosine. Rather than doing 23 pi over 6, I'm going to do pi over 6. Does everybody agree with me that evaluating for theta is the, and, and theta prime is the exact same thing? Doesn't matter. That's what I showed you guys last class period. We plugged them into our calculator and saw that the decimals were exactly the same. The only thing that was different, though, is sometimes the sign. So when you're evaluating using the reference angle, what you have to do is understand the quadrant that the angle lies in. This quadrant angle lies in the fourth quadrant, right? We're evaluating for cosine. Is cosine positive or negative in the fourth quadrant? 
positive. So therefore, whatever my answer is, I know that it's going to be po it's going to have to be positive. Now, going back to this, pi over 6. Do we know what cosine of pi over 6? That's going to be the same thing as 30 degrees. You do not need a calculator because we should have an example of a 30, 60, 90 triangle with us. So if that's 30 degrees, we know that that's 1, 2, um, square root of 3. So cosine of 30 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. And you don't need to replace it to 30 degrees, but you should just know that. Does that make sense? Yes? Um, 